Hi, I'm Bob, and welcome to Between the Sheets, where we look at Microsoft Excel and related technologies. I hadn't planned on reviewing another AI application right after reviewing Microsoft Copilot. You can see it in episode 74 if you missed it. But China just released DeepSeek, which is rivaling, if not outperforming most others. Two amazing things is they spent less than $6 million to develop it, which is a fraction of the billions of dollars that went into apps like ChatGPT and Google Gemini. And because of American export restrictions, they used less capable chipsets to do it. So I'm going to ask DeepSeek to do the same Excel tasks I asked of other AI tools in previous videos. Like before, I didn't run through any of this in advance, so you're going to see me do it for the first time. So let's take a look and see how it works. I'm going to run two tests, a simple one and a more complicated one. I have two sheets here. The first is simple. It has columns for department, state, hours, and rate, which you can see. And I want a formula that will add all the hours down column D only where the state is New Jersey. And I'm going to put that in that box right there. If I were doing this on my own, I would use the sum if function to get the results. Now the second worksheet, let's go there. This has a list of names down column A. You can see some names have middle initials, some have middle names, and some have just first and last names. So this is a mess. I want a formula that will extract the first and last names, remove anything in between, and have no issue where there isn't anything in the middle. This should require a complicated formula using something like seven functions. Let's go to DeepSeek. Now you can run DeepSeek either in a browser window or by downloading their app. For the sake of simplicity, I'm going to use the web version. So I'm going to ask DeepSeek to solve the easier sheet first. AI applications do better when we talk in natural language and give them plenty of information. And I'm going to speed this up a little so you don't have to watch me typing. Feel free to pause the video if you want. So I'm going to say, and something you might notice immediately is there isn't predictive text like there is in so many applications. I don't know if that's deliberate or if it's a feature that hasn't been implemented yet. As a fast typist, I don't like predictive text anyway, so I see this as a plus. And now I'm just going to click the blue button. This looks promising, so I'm going to click Copy. Let's go back into Excel, and I'm going to double click right there and paste. And look at that. That looks totally fine. Okay, the easy part is done. Now let's ask it for something more complicated. You might find it a little silly that I'm being polite and saying please, but I found with AI tools in general that asking politely tends to produce better results. Besides, I'm not a barbarian. Also, maybe a good idea to be on friendly terms with the robots, if you know what I mean. So here's my description of the second worksheet, click the blue button. Great that it gives me a detailed explanation, and the left and substitute these functions are exactly what I would expect to see. So I'm going to hit the copy button again. Let's go back to Excel, and now let's go to the names sheet. I'm going to paste in here. That looks good, and I'm going to double click the autofill dot. Holy mackerel! <laughs> this is unbelievable. So when I did this with a whole bunch of other AI applications, there was always a mess, and I was expecting to see a mess. Now, one thing that it will probably get an error on, and it's not its fault, and that is, what if there's a first name or a last name that consists of two words, like this guy we all know? So it does it what it thinks is correctly, but we know it's not. So the formula removes the van as though it's a middle name, which is exactly what we told it to do. But we can't start inserting a lot of exceptions into the formulas, but there is something better. We can treat the space between the second and third word as though it's a letter. This is what's called a hard space or a non-breaking space. The screen to do this is slightly different in the Windows and Mac editions, so I'll show you both. So I'm going to go to the original, right? This is a formula. I'm going to go here and I'm going to remove the space between those two. Now in the ribbon bar, I go to the insert tab and on the end, I go to symbols, click symbol. You may have that already up on your ribbon bar and I'm going to go to special characters, 
and there is non-breaking space. So I'm just going to double click to insert it, close, press enter, and now the formula gets it correctly. Now, if you're doing this in the Mac edition, you can click the same item on the ribbon bar, or you could bring up the character viewer. Well, it's a little different. Let's go into the Mac version of Excel and we'll see. So on the Mac, similar, I'm going to double click on the source, remove the space. And now I'm going to double tap on the function key that's in the lower left corner of the Mac keyboard. That brings up the character viewer. And I'm going to go up there and I'm going to search for space. And you notice there's empty space here. Well, literally, but these are not empty. There's actually things in there. And when I click this, you see it's a backspace. When I click that empty box, it's a space. But when I click that box, that tells me it's a no break space. So I'm going to double click it. That gets inserted there. I can close that. Enter it. And there it is. I think I put two of them in there when I double clicked it. And there we go. So that's how you do the same thing on the Mac as in Windows. <laughs> well, holy mackerel. That was about as hard an Excel test as I've given any AI application in any of my tests. I am very, very surprised that it did it. This is really something. So um, there it is. Go to deepseek.com. It is free. As for now, who knows what's going to happen uh, in the future. So be sure to check out my course, Excel 365 for busy people. And until next time, my name is Bob, and this has been Between the Sheets.